1990s, the past prisoner of CMCC, Mr. Mohin Mohinuddin, felt there's a vacuum for seniors program in the community. Our first job was to raise broad awareness in the community about the needs and the requirements of the seniors. In 1998, Mohin Mohinuddin's sudden demises caused the problem and we lost a great leader. He was always there to create new ideas and take counsel beyond what we could have imagined. Once the time came to actualize the vision of the visionaries, uh, we had to form an entity uh, called Rema Community Services. We found that uh, it is very important and necessary to have an organization which uh, will serve not only seniors, but also women and newcomers' causes. Our seniors suffer in silence related to elder abuse. Elder abuse could be a verbal abuse, financial abuse, emotional abuse, and physical abuse. Rema plays a very active role by assisting seniors through information and referral, through trainings and research in collaboration with academia. They are just housebound most of the time, so we want to get them out from there so that you know they do not suffer day and night. And also empower them let them know that you know there are helps available when you're isolated you lose your health you lose your state of mind so you start using health services extensively our aim is to bring as many services in the community so a senior can live healthy physically mentally spiritually culturally and by keeping them in home we begin to save a fair amount of dollars at the same time we have a healthy seniors in our community There are so many stories, very sad stories, which came out from these neighborhoods that we felt that it's mandatory that Rahma should do something for these people. It is very important for elderly people to come out from their homes and socialize with each other. And Rahma is the right place. We expanded our services to the women in the community with the information referral service, with uh, connecting them to external services where they can be taken care of, where their needs can be met, whether it's uh, legal services with counseling, whether it is uh, shelters, or whether it is uh, uh, getting other information to help them out. We find immigrant women coming from different uh, of different nationalities who come to us and uh, they can only speak either Farsi, Urdu, Hindi and they do not have language skills and for them it is very important and imperative that they become uh, integrated in Canada and only through economic uh, independence they can be empowered. Domestic violence, particularly culture-based violence, is very much visible in the communities we serve. We address these issues through information referral, training, sociodramas, and making them aware about the Canadian justice system. It has been uh, doing some stellar work in helping the, uh, the newcomers to the country, helping them settle down, getting them uh, the, ch the children enrolled in schools, yeah, getting them uh, connected to the health services, getting them connected to the community organizations, so they have a much easier way of uh, getting Canadianized and getting settled down in this country. All those people who come from underdeveloped countries, uh, they don't have the language. I felt exactly those years ago that I was here, I couldn't speak English either. I have felt that need that they have, and this was the best way to, to be able to help them. It's very nice to know that some of these newcomers, when I discuss it, that they can have a job if they learn English. This is the most um, key point of success to have a, to have a job is learning English. 
can very much assist them first by providing a very anxiety-free environment. Number one, we have people who speak their language, who look like them, who interviews them and make them feel at home. We refer them to certain people who will assist in that way. We also make sure that we follow up with a telephone conversation afterwards to make sure that things went well or did not go well. It is a very strong point to empower people who are vulnerable, who are uh, caught in between, uh, you know, cultures or clash or uh, calamities uh, from coming from, you know, one settled life to unsettled life and and not really knowing what their future is. Rema's role in addressing those issues through our programs and projects is very vital and active. We have a variety of activities that we conduct. Our food security programs are there and uh, information referral programs are there. We visit the long-term care homes and for the isolation we have mushairas, we have a high tea, we have the gala dinner that everybody is now here today. Our recent project on uh, food enterprises is being uh, funded by IDRF and we would like to thank them for their support because it helps the marginalized women to get skill-based training so that they can get employment and alleviate poverty. I like about this program, there are multicultural people. And we get along with each other, we have fun together, we learn to cook different dishes. And I'm very happy because we are learning to cook and it goes for one year and it's a free program. It is a one year round project and it's run three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday from um, 10 to 1, Tuesday 10 to 1 and Wednesday from 12 to 3. It's a three hour class as I mentioned before and students who graduate from this class will get a certificate which will allow them to work in the food industry of Canada. REMA provides the services to the clients in the language they speak and as for the culture they are in. So we understand the culture, we understand the language and we address those needs. But it's not enough. That we need more volunteers, more facility and uh, more involvement of the community. We at Rehma request the support from government, civil societies and business communities towards our goal. And our goal is to have our Rehma house. Rehma house would be a place, a platform for seniors to get their access to health and wellness as well as breaking their isolation. And have the activities which not only motivate and energize us but also help in helping other seniors who are uh, bound at home. This is not only our dream, it should be the dream of the whole community. And we urge the whole community to join hands with us, to support us so that one day, in not too far off distance of future, we have a worthy Rema house, which will be a firm point of pride for the whole community. For us to continue our services and programs in the communities, to make stronger and safer communities, we need the support of our funders and our donors. The donation that you could do is through online. We have through Canada Help. You can make an online donation. You can send us your check uh, at our address. Or you could just call us at 416-510-0880 and we will be able to uh, assist you how you can send us your donations. We also look for placement students and volunteers who can come to us and provide us with their skills and talent so that we can better reach out to the communities and provide the services that our seniors require, that our women require and our newcomers require. Thank you. Ne ki gali ya kabhi.
है जहाँ जलवाए नूरो शम सुदोहा मुस्तफा 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 मुस्तफा